Hello, beautiful women. This is Emmy, and welcome back to my channel. And this is Fashion Moment 70. All right, so glad to have you back. Uh, I really love creating these videos, and I just can't believe we've made it to 70. So today, we're going to be doing something special. I'm going to be reviewing two Dossier perfumes. One of them actually happens to be the reimagination of what my husband wears, the Sauvage. So this should be very interesting, and uh, I can't wait to smell it. And um, yes, review it for you. And the other one is inspired by Mark's, Mark Jacobs and Daisy. And then I have this um, amazing spring outfit, and this is a top by Rouge, and, and I really like it. This is the first time um, I've, I've tried this brand, and I just wanted to bring it to you, and um, yeah, just show it uh, how I style it. And yeah, so hey, without further ado, let's get started. All right, lovely women, so here we are, and we're about to review two new dossier scents. Well, they're new to me, <laughs> and maybe they're going to be new for you too. So the first one that we're going to talk about is one that my husband wears. So I'm so intrigued, and I'm so excited to um, share this with you, first of all. But before I start, let me just tell you a bit about Dossier as a company. All right, they make some of the world's most iconic and and sought after scents that are so fabulous. They, they make reimaginations of them and they um, use the same ingredients that they acquire in grass fronts and they are actually um, made in the United States and they just are so creative. They have like fabulous noses that come up with these beautiful reimaginations of these perfumes. And um, how do they do it? Well, let me tell you, <laughs> they cut out the infamous brand tax, amongst other things like, you know, um, speakers like uh, famous um, movie stars and things like that promoting their perfumes and, and, and other things. To, um, and, and their um, packaging is environmental, but it's very simplistic, but I love it. I, I like things like that. And yes, and then they pass that savings to you. Um, they pass it on to you, the customer. And I think that is just incredible. So what else do I want to tell you? I want to tell you that if you are a first time purchaser of Dossier, that they have a 20% off welcome. So that is incredible. And yes, so basically, if you think about other um, designer fragrances, I mean, they can start anywhere. I mean, I mean, they say like, for, I've never seen a designer fragrance at like $40. I've seen them start at 80 and go up in the hundreds, like 400s, more even. Uh, one of my, my favorites, um, it's yeah, really high up there, uh, like yeah, four hundred dollars, and um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> but uh, that's really hard on the wallet, and uh, Dossier realizes that, and they want, um, they believe that everybody um, should smell like luxury and should smell fabulous, and I agree with that. And and this just gives you the opportunity to try different fragrances and experience different fragrances that perhaps you might not have been able to do before. And also that you could have signature scents, okay? And maybe just not one. Maybe you wanna change your perfume out um, for day and evening. So you might have like an office fragrance and then an evening fragrance. Maybe you want a gym fragrance. Maybe uh, seasonally you want to have different fragrances because I kind of associate different fragrances like Hmm, that's like gourmand, that's like fall and winter. Oh, that's like jasmine or lemon and whatever. That's more like spring and summer, coconut. So these are different things that you might be able to do with a perfume that is more affordable. 
And so that's another reason why I really like the dossier. And if that's not enough, <laughs> they, um, so they have um, a risk free money back guarantee. So if you try it and you don't like it, you're not stuck with it. You can just return any um, 50 ml bottle, which is this size, okay, for a full money back guarantee. They want you to be happy. And the reason why they can do that is they have confidence in their product. If a, if a company doesn't have confidence in their product, they won't offer you that. <laughs> they're like, oh, we got them to buy it. Now they're just going to run away and they're not going to offer that to you. And, and, and it's like, oh, too bad. You know, you can't return anything. Well, that's not Dossier and that's not their style. And that, that's one thing I really like about the company. They stand behind their product and they really, um, they really do. So they, they want you to be happy and they believe that everyone should smell like luxury and they want you to try and experience different fragrances. So I, I really like that about them. And there's one more thing that I want to mention that Dossier has great deals that if you purchase their perfume in bulk, the more you purchase, the more you save. Okay, so, and, and it's different. They have different, I, I won't quote it because it, it's changing. I, you know, sometimes, especially around this time of year, this, you know, Mother's Day coming up, they could even have more <laughs> savings. Yes, the more you purchase, the more you save, uh, and it's just, it's fabulous. So if you really want to try a few fragrances um, or, or, or do some signature scents, and, and do them for, um, like I said, evening, um, office, gym, or, or uh, think about purchasing ahead of time for gifts, um, like I said, for Mother's Day coming up uh, and everything. Um, this, you know, would make a fabulous present. And, you know, maybe you have, you know, mothers, grandmothers, you know, different women that mean things in your life. And of course, it's not just women, it's men. So Father's Day is coming up soon, so don't forget about them, especially since we're doing a, a men's fragrance. I'm Technically, it could be unisex because I I love this fragrance that we're going to um, review. But and, and the other interesting fact is my sister and I both picked the same fragrance for our our, our husbands. So there you go. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. But it's so funny. Uh, I was like, oh, well, John wears Sauvage. And she's like, well, Jean wears Sauvage. So <laughs> there we go. We both were attracted to that scent. So that is really funny. All right, so I just want to get to testing. So let's just test them out. All right, and um, I am going to put on my cat woman glasses. And I'm just going to have to, I have to tell you, these are from Sojo's, and I just love them. I did a whole video on it. So go. Go look in my videos and check that out. Uh, oh, they're out. Well, I'll just show you this lovely case. Oh, pretty, it's perfect. <laughs> Along with the glasses. I love these tortoise shells. Um, so I can, um, I can read the card. Okay, so we are gonna do the Aromatic Star Anise. Okay, so this is, and, and, and what I have for you here too, is I have the Sauvage. So we are going to, like test them out. I'm gonna, I'll just spray, um, I'm gonna spray on each end. I guess that's how I'll do it. But uh, I might even spray it on me because I just love this stuff. Um, but let me read it to you, okay? So aromatic star anise, and the top notes are things that I love, um, are bergamot, pepper, star anise, middle notes are lavender, nutmeg, geranium, and the base notes are patchouli, Amberwood and vetiver. Okay, it's in, it's inspired by Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette, and it's a twelve percent concentration. And while I'm reading, I love to read their mission statement because I just I, I, I just think it's so good. Um, our mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price, giving you the freedom to explore new scents. Thank you for giving us a try. So. Yes, I really, I really like that. So, yeah, and, and I just, I'll read the how it works too. Okay, your dossier has arrived and now it's time to test out your new perfume. Do you love the smell? 
How does it feel on your skin? If you're not in love, you always are able to return your bottle. Simply head to the returns page on dossier.co to create a return label and ship it back to us. We've got you covered. First, I'm just going to um, spray it. And oh, I love the magnetic cap. I'm a nerd. Um, but yes, I love it. It's just nice, simple packaging, but boy, it's just, it's just the little attention to detail that I like. All right, so we're gonna spray it on. Oh, I love it. I mean, I am so familiar with this fragrance. I have a spoiler. I, 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 I tested it, but we're, we're testing it together now. Oh, it's just, it's so, I mean, you get that, that, oh, the bergamot, the star anise. It's just so, hmm, let me just set this down for a second. And, and when I say pepper, I always tell people that which pepper is wintergreen. Okay, it's not, <laughs> it's not like shake, shake on your dinner. Yeah. And I love lavender. I mean, I put lavender in our laundry <laughs> and I put it on the woolly balls that I put in our dryer. I'm just a big fan of lavender. It's such a clean and fresh scent. It's nice on women, it's nice on men. It's just, it's just fresh and beautiful. And the nutmeg and geranium, I mean, now you know nutmeg, I mean, everybody knows nutmeg. And, and, and interestingly enough, it just adds that little twist. And you know, geranium is more of a fresh scent. I don't know if you know what geranium itself smells like, but it's nice. And then the, the patchouli, the amberwood, and the vetiver just really anchor it. Um, and, and I just, I love patchouli. Now patchouli itself can, you know, people think of it as like a hippie thing or something, but mixed with the amberwood and the vetiver, it just, oh, it's just such a lovely combination and just brings it, it just, it's just mixed so well and just done so well. So, all right, what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to just spray the other end with the Sauvage. Oops. Magnetic, not as magnetic. <laughs> anyway. If I were to pick out one difference, I smell I, I smell more nutmeg in a Sauvage. But when it settles, it, I don't, then, like right now, it's really smelling identical. And I will tell you this too, that I sprayed it on him and the next day, so I sprayed it on him. It must have come in. Our mail comes late. It come. It, it must have sprayed it on him like four or five o'clock in you know in the afternoon. And the next morning, um, nine or ten o'clock, I could still smell it on his neck. Uh, it's been nine o'clock because he works at home, so um, he wasn't rushing for a shower right away. He just does the workout and then does the shower. But yeah, these are, you know, you'd be so hard pressed. It is so identical. So I, I love having the actual fragrance here, but it is just fabulous. So definitely, definitely try out the Aromatic Star. Please, I, I, five stars, totally. You will not be disappointed. Now, I don't smell the difference anymore. Just initially when I sprayed it, it was like, oh, I can really smell the nutmeg but now they smell identical. So there you go. Let me just smell my coffee beans. <sighs> okay, yeah, because that's really... Okay, so the next one we're gonna be looking at, okay, is called Floral Violet. 
Okay, and that is the reimagination of Marc Jacobs' Daisy Eau de Toilette. Okay, and it's a 20% concentration. Okay, so let me read you the notes for this one, the floral violet. Okay, so it has top notes of watermelon, pomelo, strawberry. Okay, so it's very fruity opening. And the middle notes are violet, which I love violet, um, gardenia, and I have gardenias all, all around my yard, so I'm very familiar with that smell. Jasmine, and then base notes of musk, vanilla, and blonde woods. And um, so this sounds, you know, very, very interesting. Um, but I, I'm, t I'm t right now, I am just like, right now I am, I have to, I think I have to smell more coffee. All right, yeah. <laughs> it's just, I will say, it's really, um, really packs a punch. All right, so let's give this a spray. I'm gonna get a good spray because I need to get out of the um, star anise land and <laughs> give this a smell. All right, so right away, when I'm back from it, I'm gonna take these glasses off. I, it's very fresh, very, very fresh. I smell freshness. And I'm, I'm gonna let it just breathe for a second because I did give it a real good spray. Just because I'm sort of fighting with the other scent. <laughs> I wanna smell it properly. All right, so I smell all that fruit. Really nice. Hmm. Really nice, but not over the top with the fruit. It just is a nice blend. It's almost like a florally fruit. Okay, because really the violet, the, the gardenia, and the jasmine really come up through it. It's really nice. It's pretty. It's really nice. And usually I'm not like a total fan of musk, but this is not, um, I don't smell anything like musk. So it's kind of good. I like blonde woods. I love vanilla. And I think the vanilla with the fruit is really nice, but it's, it's mature. It's not like a cream sickle or anything. It's mature and it's, it's pretty. It's sexy, it's fresh, it's not overbearing. It would be a nice one for the summertime. It's freshness. It smells clean, and I like that. It's really clean. It's a really clean scent. So if you like something fruity and fresh and clean, not overbearing, you would like this. Okay, so I, I like it. This could be, uh, this is office friendly. This would be you know, fresh evening, nice summer scent, you know, great for vacation. You could wear this. This this scent can take you anywhere. Really nice, really nice. You're looking for something for the spring or the summer or something to give someone. This would be a really safe one to give someone because I don't know who would not like this, this soft, fresh, clean smell. Yeah, so it would make a nice gift. So think about that with, um, yeah, Mother's Day coming up and everything. And then for Father's Day, gosh, you couldn't go wrong with the star anise. So, hey, um, I love it. I love Dossier. So um, remember that 20% off welcome if you're a first time purchaser. And um, yes, and you remember to buy in bulk and you will get, um, the more you, you purchase, the more you save. So, um, yeah, um, check them out at dossier.co. I will have um, everything listed in the description. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this segment. I really enjoy um, testing these fragrances. I love perfume. All right, so now the part you've been waiting for, the fashioning. So I really like this outfit a lot. I just, this is the first time I've tried Rouge. Uh, I've always, I've seen the brand and I've just been, hmm, I wonder, you know? <laughs> and so I thought, oh, let me just try it out. And I, I, and you know me, I love blue. 
So this has like the blues and the purples and, and a hint of a gray green. And I just love the colors in it. I love the style. It's just so flowy, kind of romantic. And yeah, so the one thing I will say in the sizing, I sized up like two sizes uh, to get it to fit correctly. So that's just something to take into uh, consideration. Uh, their sizing is, is different. It just, it runs small. So if you make a purchase, think about that. Okay, so, but I do love the quality, okay? This is cotton and it's just very um, comfortable, breathable. Um, I love the attention to detail. And I love the little dome-shaped pearl buttons. They're really pretty. And I love where it sits. I could actually either kind of like force a tuck with this, but I didn't want to. It, you know how you have a crop shirt and you're always like, oh, we should just have one more inch on it? This is the one that has one more inch on it. So there you go. And, and I love the way it's sewn here. At, right down to the, the, the seam is horizontal here. And, and then it's got one extra little dome-shaped pearl button. So I think this is fantastic. Um, I just love the detail. And in fact, let me just step a little bit closer so you can see the shirt in detail. Okay, I just, I love the colors, the flowers, the buttons, this, this, this seam at the bottom here. Okay, and, 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 and the buttons, um, the way they run all the way down to the seam. And I like the little tie. By the way, the tie is not just um, there, it actually functions. You can, you can tighten it up a little bit so that you don't get too much slip down or anything. Um, and I, I love the puffy sleeves, they are not too much. And, and the bra, and, and, it, and it sits right without having to wear a strapless bra. The other day, I was watching um, someone, and they're like, "Oh, you have to wear this bra with a strapless bra." I'm like, "Oh, I hate wearing strapless bras. I hate it. I, I just I don't have enough to hold them up." <laughs> so, um, I just want to say, there's always a balconette bra, and a balconette bra, if you don't know that cut, it, it's even more wide open than a demi, and and. Uh, the one I'm wearing, I'll list it, it's called Scarlet, um, with a K. And um, it, it's in my Amazon store. It, it comes in like a peachy nude, you should probably just see it poking out here a little bit, and, and it comes in a black. So I have both. <laughs> and, and if a little bit shows, it, it just kind of blends with my skin. I think it looks kind of sexy, it's fine. Uh, right now my mic is doing a good job of, of keeping everything in place, but um, I like it. I like the freedom of, 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 of well, I mean, I could, you know, with me, I could wear this with, with nips, but I just, I just like having the bra on. <laughs> it just makes me feel better. That's just how I am. So yes, but you don't have to wear a strapless. You, there, there are alternatives. That's one, nips are another. Um, but but I, I'd rather wear nips, frankly, than wear a strapless bra because I feel like it's going to fall down to my ribcage and that's just really uncomfortable. So anyway, I love this um, blouse by Rouge and um, yes, it's just it's just lovely. And, and like I said, the print is lovely. All the attention to detail and so yeah I highly recommend it so as far as everything else that I'm wearing I know in the previous video I showed you these lovely sling backs okay um, they're in my Amazon store um, I like them because they are um, pointy toed and they are very monochromatic they're light colored uh, they have a three inch heel they are comfortable okay and they just um blend with my pants and the, the, the visual line just goes straight up making me look taller and leaner that's what i'm going for here and these just happen to be an old pair of jeans from loft so once again and they're high-waisted by the way they're high-waisted and curvy <laughs> and um, i'm not wearing them too tight and underneath i'm wearing the same soma panties um, with the, uh, the vanishing um, panty line. I, I'll list what they're called, but they are my faves. They've been my faves for years. And they are, um, they're, just, they're just fabulous. No panty line whatsoever. And yeah, I, I love them. 
they are just they're great to have uh and and just don't put them in the dryer wash them hang them up and yes so i'm doing again what i did um in the last couple of videos so i'm trying to to teach you about the sheep journey philosophy of sort of upcycling your clothing as you're as you're going through don't um you don't have to buy all um high-end fashion right away you can have some nicer high-end pieces like my rouge blouse here and then mix it with your um with, with other pieces um that are more affordable and and that you can um you know maybe you'll purchase them at a more affordable uh, place or at consignment you'll pick things out that's a good way to do it and um as you go you know you will just upcycle your clothes as you can afford to and then you might lose the fast fashion eventually but you can't do it all at once nobody can um well maybe somebody can but not not most people <laughs> So there you go. So that's just a bit of the sheep journey philosophy, and and that's what I'm trying to show you here. Um, don't don't throw these away until you're ready to to have a, a replacement uh, because they're perfectly fine. And, and and being wasteful is not sheep either. So there you go. Right. So the belt you've seen this belt before. It's in my Amazon store. I like it a lot. It's just comfortable and um, freeing, and it just, I, I don't know, I, I, don't, I just think an outfit looks kind of unfinished without a belt. I know a lot of people just stand there without a belt on, and I just look at them like, where's your belt? <laughs> so, there you go. That's, uh, that's what I do. So, let's just, um, let me just approach it a little closer. Uh, I, you know, I've bounced over my jewelry so many times, um, I just want to talk about this one piece today. This is the um, Pamela Card Spring Allegory Necklace. I just absolutely adore it. Okay, so go on her site. I will have it listed. She has so many beautiful heirloom pieces. And um, you can get them um, in, in the Vermeil covered in gold, or you can get them in solid gold. So it's your choice, whatever you want, whatever your budget allows. But um, they're absolutely beautiful, and um, she is such um, a, an artist when it comes to jewelry. I just, this necklace goes so well with this blouse, and I just, yeah, I just, I feel, I just, I just feel beautiful in it. So there you go. I, I just really love the Pamela Card jewelry. And I just chose to wear it with a classic Chanel bag. You cannot go wrong. Definitely a luxury bag. I love the two-tone metal and um this is just buttery soft the quilting this is great um for any occasion i like in the back here where i can put my phone um and just have quick access to it and yeah this is the the 19 um it's lambskin and yes i absolutely adore this bag last but not least we have the gg grip arlo hat this is a straw hat it's absolutely gorgeous, but more than gorgeous, it protects you from the sun, okay? And it protects you from the sun, it keeps you cool. Um, this is stylish right here, These um, the way it's sewn, but it also provides ventilation for your head. And I love the, um, I love the kind of monochromatic. You can get these in different colors. But this little leather band here just happens to be the same kind of ivory as the hat. And you can see the Gigi Grip emblem. I love the teardrop shape of it. It's just, yeah, you just hold it. It's just so um, beautiful. It's spinning. It will add height to you. It will add presence. And I just love a good hat. And I, I, I do. It just completes the look of an outfit. It just gives you that certain Genesee quality that you just can't put your finger on, but um, once you get used to wearing hats, you'll always want to have a hat. And they're not just for uh, daytime, they are fashion ladies, and you'll want to wear them in the evening too. So yes, GG Pip hats, um, GG Pip, and inside, here's to a woman who wears many hats, that would be me, and maybe it would be you too. So yeah, check out GG Pip. 
All right, lovely women. Well, I hope you enjoyed Fashion Moment 70. I hope you enjoyed the Dossier A perfume review. Okay, remember, they have a welcome offer of 20% off. Um, who could beat that? That is great and, and risk free for trying them out. So I really, I love the Dossier perfume. And um, boy, <laughs> I couldn't believe how much the star and it's really just, it just is like right on, okay, right on the mark. I just love that perfume. Um, it's just, it's just like the Sauvage. So there you go. And so I just love showing you this beautiful outfit. I love the rouge blouse. I love all the accessories. And, um, you know, I, I love creating these videos for you. So, hey, if you like content like this, don't forget to click like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. I know a lot of you just kind of watch it on TV and you forget, but, but pick up your cell and just click like and subscribe, okay? So, hey, um, I hope you um, have a fabulous week and I will see you in the next one. Always remember to wear your sunscreen and hey, always remember to live your life passionately.